January 16, Living with and without Henry. The Lord is my shepherd. He restoreth my soul. Psalms chapter 23, verse 1 and 3, King James Version. Henry is my black medium ultra slim. We became attached at the hip, literally, when I awoke from a surgical procedure that repaired a badly turned rotator cuff on my right shoulder. Henry's job was to bolster my right arm so that my shoulder could heal without being torn again from the weight of that arm. When I got over the initial pain, I discovered what life would be without my right arm. Try washing your hair with only a left hand. Imagine taking a shower, getting dressed, or driving a car without that arm. It's hard to imagine. Just think of living that way for 8 weeks. My life changed instantly. I became a baby again. Bathed, dressed, and chauffeur driving. The novelty soon wore off. I longed to drive again, to comb my hair again, to fix breakfast. But with the inconveniences came lessons from this journey into helplessness. First, I learned empathy. In my second week with Henry, I visited a friend who could not use his right hand or arm following a stroke. As I sat beside him, I immediately understood how he felt. I had visited him many times before, but only when we sat both our right arms in slings could I really share his feelings of helplessness. My sling, however, was temporary. His was permanent. I empathized and understood. I also learned, after many decades of independence, to depend on others. I am thankful for the friends and relatives who brought dinner daily. And I am beyond grateful for my husband of 47 years who became my nurse, bathing and dressing me, fixing breakfast, and literally becoming my right hand. And finally, I learned the joys of restoration. God restores. After weeks of sometimes painful therapy, I regained my mobility. I could peel potatoes again, open tight bottle cups, wash dishes. I could drive again. God restored my mobility. And now, it is easy to forget that I ever had to leave with Henry. But this restoration is just the beginning. God has promised to make all things new in Revelation chapter 21, verses 4 and 5. Hallelujah! Minds ravaged by dementia will be healed. The blind will see, the deaf will hear. Wheelchairs and walkers will be discarded. No one will need a Henry sling again. Shoulders, wrists, leg, and knees will all be healed, restored to their original strength. Only better, forever. I want to be part of that joyful restoration, don't you? Annette Walwyn Michael